Every angler wants to catch the biggest fish. That's the whole point, right? Oh, there it is. And the anglers in this video achieved the dream. These are the 20 biggest catches of all time. Number 20. World's Biggest Shark Caught on a Rod and Reel Frank Mundus, the world's bravest fisherman of all time, set the world record for the largest great white shark ever caught by rod and reel. Just let that sink in. He caught one of the most dangerous predators on this planet, inside and outside of the water, with a stick and some thread. It happened on August 6, 1986, when he and Don Braddock caught a 3,427-pound great white shark about 28 miles off of Montauk, New York. A whale had died recently, and there were roughly six to eight great whites feeding off the massive carcass. You know, because great whites are actually highly opportunistic feeders, which means they'll try to hunt anything they feel like, but they won't let the opportunity pass of snacking on some yummy whale without the hassle of having to hunt such a massive prey. So Mundus had his pick that day. He could choose the great white he wanted, and so he did. But immediately after his amazing and impressive feat, a lot of controversy started to flare up surrounding the catch, with quite a few people insinuating he had also killed the whale the great white sharks were feeding on. And killing an endangered animal just for clout is wrong on so many levels. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. Why does this fish have a human's face? It's weird, and it makes us want to throw up. I mean, maybe it's the low quality of the photo making it look like a human face, but that is a human face on that fish, right? Please tell us you agree. If we're right, this fisherman captured what no one was supposed to see. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag oddtopic. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Maine's Biggest Lobster Returned to the Atlantic Ocean Maine, the most northeastern state of the United States, is famous for a lot of things, but probably the first thing that comes to mind when you mention Maine is the amazing and delicious lobsters. But I'm sure you've never seen such a massive lobster as Rocky. Meet the biggest lobster ever caught in Maine. Rocky is a 27-pounder with claws powerful enough to snap clean off a man's arm. According to marine officials, Rocky was trapped in a shrimp net, but he was then released back to the ocean. He was a 40 inch male lobster, roughly about the size of an average three-year-old toddler. Elaine Jones, the education director for the state's Department of Marine Resources, said that all the weight is in the claws, and Rocky had huge, strong, and capable ones. He was caught near the seaside village of Cushing, and due to the law that prevents fishermen from keeping lobsters that measure over five inches from the eye to the tail, they took him to the Maine State Aquarium in West Booth Bay. There, he was checked, weighed, admired, and then released back into the wild. Number 18. The Biggest Catfish Did you know that the Mekong giant fish is the freshwater heavyweight champion of the entire world? Well, it is. And according to the Guinness Book of Records, a nine-foot-long specimen was caught in northern Thailand back in 2005. This massive Mekong giant fish weighed a whopping 646 pounds, making it the biggest exclusively freshwater fish ever caught in recorded history. The largest catfish ever caught in the United States was a 123-pound flathead individual. Ken Polly was the lucky fisherman who had the honor to catch it from Elk City Reservoir in Kansas in May 1990. This gigantic specimen measured 61 inches with an impressive 43.75 inch girth. But it wasn't until January 16, 2004 that a fish which would become known as Splash was caught in the United States. Cody Mullenix of Howe, Texas managed to catch this 121.5 pounder at the Hagerman National Wildlife Refuge on Lake Texoma. It was a blue catfish, which is the species regarded as the largest North American catfish species. But don't be too afraid of their insane size. Despite their reputation, catfish are not dangerous to humans. There are many rumors telling stories about this species eating swimmers, but they are nothing more than a myth. Number 17. World Record of Giant Bluefin Tuna 
We see tuna fish everywhere in the culinary world nowadays, but people seem to not have a notion of just how massively huge tuna fish actually are. To make things simple, tuna fish are, in a word, huge. And even that might be an understatement in this case. Atlantic bluefin tuna are among the largest fish species in the entire world. They can reach an average length of six and a half feet and an average weight of 550 pounds. And those are just the average numbers. The current record for the largest Atlantic bluefin tuna fish ever caught belongs to a fisherman named Ken Fraser, who caught this gigantic specimen off the coast of Nova Scotia in Canada back in 1979. The bluefin tuna weighed a whopping 1,496 pounds. Just let that sink in for a second. To this day, nobody has managed to ever come close to matching this record, mainly because a fish that size is simply too difficult to catch. It took Fraser 45 minutes to reel in the gigantic tuna and another 10 hours just to dehydrate it. Most of the largest specimens of bluefin tuna are caught off the eastern seaboard of Canada, so if you're a tuna fish fanatic, you know where to go. Number 16. Fisherman catches 14-foot-long hammerhead shark in Corpus Christi. A group of fishermen had the catch of a lifetime after they managed to reel in a massive hammerhead shark in Corpus Christi, Texas. One of the lucky men was Ray Sedillo, who reportedly goes fishing every chance he gets. That day, he decided to go out on the water with some of his friends, but they never thought they would accomplish such a difficult feat. At some point during their day fishing, they felt something had bitten, not yet realizing what was actually on the other end of the thread. It was a 14-foot-long hammerhead shark, estimated at just over a thousand pounds. As they were dragging it back into the water, they noticed it was a female and that she was very weak. So they decided to stay with her for about 45 minutes, getting beaten up by the waves. Unfortunately, she didn't make it. This was quite a low blow for the conservation-minded shark fishermen. They usually only catch sharks to tag them for research and then release them back into the water. The fact that the catch of a lifetime also included the shark not making it totally sucks, as Sedillo put it. It was something that Sedillo had always dreamed of catching, but tragically, it was a very bad deal. Number 15. 182 pound wahoo caught out of Cape Cod. Check out this monster wahoo that Derek Whitcamper caught out of Cape Cod in Massachusetts. Whitcamper is an angler and he was on board the Castafari with Captain Damon Sacco the magic day they were able to catch this magnificent specimen. The wahoo, nicknamed the Beast, weighed 182 pounds, making it only two pounds short of the IGFA all-tackle world record that was caught by Sarah Hayward in 2005 in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Wahoo are found worldwide in tropical and subtropical areas. It's a very fast animal, and that's why the species is best known to sports fishermen. Its high-quality flesh makes the wahoo a very prized and high-valued game fish. In Hawaii, the wahoo are called ono. They tend to be solitary fish, but they can also occur in loose-knit groups of two or three specimens. But where the conditions are optimal, they can be found in schools of 100 wahoo or more. They mainly eat other fish and squid, and there are more female individuals than males. Number 14. World record for the biggest Goliath grouper ever recorded. The Goliath grouper is a huge fish that certainly lives up to its name. It is, in fact, one of the largest bony fish species in the world. Goliath groupers are native to South Florida and the Caribbean waters, and they are also some of the most sought-after fish in the sea. As of 2021, the largest specimen ever caught was an almost gargantuan individual that weighed a whopping 500 pounds. But these creatures can get much, much bigger than that. They are long, thick, robust, and impressively massive fish. Some of them can reach up to 8 feet long and weigh up to 800 pounds. Today, Goliath groupers are protected under federal law and it is forbidden to capture or kill them for recreation or distribution. More so, if you catch one, you can't lift it out of the water, not even to take a photo of it. That's why all recent catches have all had underwater photo shoots. Aside from being absolutely gigantic, these fish are not particularly friendly, which is a dangerous combination. There have been some cases when large Goliath groupers have attempted to hunt and attack humans. And trust me when I say they're big enough to consume a human if they feel like it. Number 13. World's Biggest Alligator Gar 
Despite their name, alligator gar are not reptiles. They're actually a fish species. They're long, slender, bony fish with diamond-shaped scales. But as their name suggests, they also have a broad snout filled with not one, but two rows of canine-like teeth that'll certainly do some damage if you get too close. They once inhabited the waters throughout the Mississippi River Valley, but today, habitat loss has limited their populations to the Gulf Coast states. These fish are extremely unique. They have a modified swim bladder that allows them to obtain oxygen from both air and water. The largest alligator gar ever caught was a 132-pounder captured in the Yellow River in 2011 by a group of researchers with the United States Fish and Wildlife Service and the FWC. No state record of the largest alligator gar ever caught exists because only people with a scientific permit can legally possess and harvest this fish species in the state of Florida. In 2011, a commercial fisherman caught one by mistake, and it turned out to be the largest alligator gar on record in Mississippi's Lake Chotar. This specimen was eight and a half feet long and weighed an impressive 327 pounds, and it was at least 94 years old. Number 12. Giant Monster Sturgeon Check out this monster white sturgeon that was caught on a rod and reel on the Fraser River, a British Columbia waterway famous for its huge sturgeons in Canada. The gigantic fish was estimated to weigh 1,100 pounds and measuring 12 feet 4 inches. Average catches vary from 30 to 100 pounds on the Fraser River, and they are quite common. Even maybe the occasional 250 pounder can make the headlines. But this specimen lives in a completely different level, so much so that it is believed to be the largest freshwater fish ever caught on rod and reel in the entirety of North America. Not only the biggest, but also the oldest. This fish is believed to be at least one century old. The battle to capture it lasted for 90 minutes, and it was certainly not an easy one either. White sturgeons have tubular mouths with no teeth, so making sure the fish has bait in its mouth is a very difficult affair. They eventually managed to overpower the 100-year-old fish, but as the species is protected in Canada, they immediately released the gargantuan fish right after they caught it. They only kept it for the time to take a picture. The Fraser River is the longest in British Columbia, flowing out from the Rocky Mountains and emptying into the Pacific Ocean at Vancouver. Number 11. Biggest Salmon there are several different species of salmon available to be caught, but out of all of them, the king salmon, also known as Chinook salmon, definitely reigns supreme in terms of size. They are the least common salmon species, and maybe that's why they are very sought after. These enormous fish can be found on the west coast of the United States and Canada. The world's largest salmon ever caught was caught in the Kenai River in Alaska in 1985. The specimen weighed an impressive 97 pounds and 4 ounces. This record has been undisputed for nearly 40 years now and shows no sign of giving up its place on the leaderboard anytime soon. Can you imagine landing a nearly 100-pound gigantic aquatic monster out of a river? It's certainly difficult to imagine. This one was over 5 feet long and it can still be seen at the Soldatna Chamber of Commerce. If you're a big salmon aficionado, then the Campbell River is the place for you to visit. It is an extremely unique fishery. There you'll find Chinook, Chum, Coho, as well as Pink Salmon all in one place. The river is only 4 kilometers long, so you must be quite selective and smart about where and how you target the fish. But on the other hand, you will have an amazing chance at a trophy. Number 10. Striped Bass Record a man named Greg Meyerson broke the record for the longest striped bass ever caught back in 2011. He was fishing a live eel at a reef off the coast of Westbrook in Connecticut when he accidentally hooked into what would turn out to be the world record striped bass. The specimen measured 54 inches and weighed exactly 81.88 pounds. The previous record holder not only was untouched for 29 years, but also was 3 pounds less than this gigantic individual. Meyerson explained that he had to fight for at least 15 minutes on his St. Croix rod and quantum reel, and eventually he managed to get the fish close enough to the boat to be able to use a fishing net. After he caught the giant striper, he put it in the hold and continued to fish the rest of the tide, but he had to peer into the hold a few times just because he couldn't believe how big the fish was. When a person that knows his way around a reel and a rod can't believe the size of a catch they made, you better believe that fish is extraordinarily large. Number 9. German Fisherman Catches World Record 515-Pound Atlantic Halibut 
Imagine catching a fish so big that it doesn't even fit in the boat. Well, that's exactly what happened to Marco Liebenau, a fisherman from Germany that caught the fish of a lifetime. Liebenau was fishing with three of his friends in his 90-foot boat in Norwegian waters when suddenly he felt he hooked something. At first, he thought it was a submarine because it was so heavy and big. But to be honest, by halibut standards, it actually kind of was a submarine. The gargantuan creature was a world record-breaking 515-pound, 9 foot long halibut. The fish was, in fact, so big it didn't even fit in the boat. In other words, this monster was heavier than a gorilla. It took Liebenau and his three friends 90 minutes to reel the giant Atlantic halibut back to shore. According to the International Fish and Game Association, this massive fish broke the previous world record of 419 pounds for an Atlantic halibut. And to think that Liebenau was only trying to catch some fish, basically doing what he always did. That same morning, he was asking around for some tips on how to fish in Norwegian waters. Little did he know, he would make history that day. Number 8. Giant manta ray weighing 750 kilograms caught by fisherman off Karnataka coast. Not one, but two giant manta rays were captured by a fisherman who went deep sea fishing in Mangalaru. The fisherman named Subash Sailan got on his boat named Nagasidi that morning, not suspecting what was about to happen. The two manta rays were so extraordinarily big that a crane had to be brought in to put them into a pickup truck after Cylon had managed to bring them back to the shore. As expected, the gigantic manta rays attracted the attention of many local people who gathered in the port area to witness the amazing catch. According to Yatish Baikampati, the former president of the Fishermen's Association in coastal Karnataka, a catch this big isn't too common, nor is it too rare, either. It seems that giant manta rays are caught quite regularly in the area, although the size of the animals can vary quite a lot. This particular catch didn't happen in a remote area, so it was reported and there to be accounted for. Bicompati explained that the manta rays will probably be exported and that they're expected to fetch a very handsome price, not only because of the impressive size of the creatures, but also because this was the first such large haul in the Port of Maple since the lockdown due to COVID was lifted. Number 7. Huge Shark Caught Off Cornwall on the 1st of June 2012, two fishermen caught what is believed to be the largest shark ever caught in British waters. The two men, Wayne Coman and Graham Pullen, caught a poor beagle shark off the Cornish coast in Boscastle, just a few meters from the shore. The massive animal was 10 feet long and weighed 550 pounds. The two Hampshire anglers were going about their business like any other day when, at the last minute, they saw an immense poor beagle shark trying to hunt for prey near the surface of the water. They think the predator was trying to eat a seagull and they decided to try and catch it with their rod and reel. It was like a great white, they said, excited. Up the right way. They had to fight the fish for a long time, and it was putting up a heck of a fight. At the end of the event, the shark was exhausted, and you could tell because his eyes were looking backwards. The two fishermen took this chance and tagged the monstrous creature. They then proceeded to release it back to the wild. It's clear that the two men have a lot of experience with such predators because they didn't look scared for a minute. They even handled the shark with their own hands. I don't know about you, but I'd be a little skittish to get anywhere near a shark that size, or any size for that matter. Number 6. World Record Paddlefish Grant Rader, an Oklahoma angler, has established the new world record by catching a 164-pound paddlefish at Keystone Lake. And to make things even more interesting and exciting for him, he actually landed this gargantuan, prehistoric-looking fish on his 18th birthday. Talk about a rite of passage. The magnificent catch was even recognized and announced by the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation. Sadly, though, the International Game and Fish Association did not because they don't include paddlefish on their list of world records, mainly due to the fact that they mainly only recognize fishing records that don't involve snagging as a method of capture. Snagging, also known as snatching, is a method of fishing that entails catching a fish using hooks without the fish having to take the bait with its mouth. Basically, they pull the fishing line out of the water as soon as any movement is felt on the line. Then they pierce the flesh of the fish with the hook. Sometimes they use weighted lures with multiple hooks to increase their chances of success. Paddlefish are one of the largest and longest lived freshwater fish in the North American continent. They eat plankton, so even though snagging is considered quite a cruel method, it remains the most effective for catching them. Number 5. 
the biggest arapaima Jeremy Wade has ever caught. No, that is not photoshopped. That fish really has teeth like that. Scary, right? They are called arapaima, and they live in the waters of the Amazonian River in South America. For eight seasons, on the TV show called Extreme Angler, Jeremy Wade has faced the most scary and dangerous creatures living in rivers, but none like the almighty arapaima. If you thought sharks were scary, just take a look at this monster. When he was trying to catch this massive specimen, Wade had a really close brush with death. The fish was in a pond, and even though this species can weigh up to 400 pounds, this one only weighed about 80 pounds. The thing is, Arapaima are incredibly powerful, and when it hit Wade squarely in the chest, he said he could still feel it six weeks later. Wade doesn't know if the fish was trying to get free or if it was actually aiming for him in a bit of revenge, but in any case, the hit was so strong he was scared it damaged his heart. Arapaima, also known as Puraruku, are amongst the largest freshwater fish in the world. They are air breathers, so they need to come to the surface regularly to gulp air. And that's when it's best to try and catch them, if you're brave enough, of course. Number 4. Largest Ever Caught Blue Marlin Professional angler Jada Holt reels in a 1,305-pound Atlantic Blue Marlin. The fish was so insanely big that it earned its spot as the fourth largest fish ever weighed in recorded history. Needless to say, it broke a world record. Jada, who's the daughter of world-renowned fisherman Chip Van Moles, managed to reel in this beast of a fish in only 15 minutes, which comes out to about 87 pounds per minute. Not bad for a day's work. Jada is something of a specialist in catching huge Atlantic blue marlins, having hooked 1,266 and 1,058 pounders in the past. I guess the angler gene runs in the family. She was fishing with a Kona-based crew at Ascension Island in the equatorial South Atlantic. She chased the fish down with the boat, proving her excellent angler skills. Considering that catches of this scale are extremely rare, she sure knows what she's doing. At first, Jada had intended to let the fish go, but after using a tape measurement formula, they decided that it had a potential for a world record. So they hauled the giant marlin through the transom door and took it to port for a closer inspection. Number 3. Rare Giant Squid Over 12 Feet Long Captured On Camera the giant squid is a very difficult animal to catch on camera. They are incredibly aloof and shy, and they mainly stay in the deepest parts of the ocean, making it virtually impossible to see one, let alone capture one. But recently, a giant squid weighing 360 pounds was captured by fishermen off the coast of northern Japan. The huge sea creature sadly lost its tentacles during the capture, but experts say that with them, it probably measured roughly 26 feet long, since the tentacles usually equal the rest of the body in length. The marine monster was alive when the fishermen first hauled it in, but it died right after it was pulled to the surface. The man responsible for the catch is named Shigenori Goto, and he regrets dearly the roughing up of the animal. He wishes that him and his team would have been able to make the creature more presentable, but unfortunately, there are no techniques for catching giant squid yet, as they've been discovered fairly recently. Another giant squid was captured also off the coast of Japan on Christmas Eve in 2015, and this one was in perfect condition. Some spectators spotted the elusive creature from a pier in Toyama Bay. In fact, this was one of the first ever sightings of the the animal altogether. When Akinobu Kimura, the owner of a local diving shop, got word of the situation, he jumped into action and went straight to the capture. He guided the squid towards the open ocean several hundred meters from where he had found it and released it. This specimen was estimated to be about 12 feet long. It was probably a young juvenile since this species can easily grow up to 60 feet in length. Number 2. Car-sized stingray may be the world's largest freshwater fish. So there's no way to put this. Scientists caught a seriously big fish. So big, in fact, that this might just be the largest freshwater fish on record. The gigantic stingray was captured in Thailand's Mekong River. And when I say gigantic, I mean hands down monstrous. To put things into perspective, it was literally the size of a car. It was 7.9 feet across and a whopping 14 feet long, to be precise. The colossal animal weighed around 800 pounds and had to be released in about 65 feet of water in order for it to be able to move. 
This stingray has set the new world record. It is now officially the biggest of its kind. But the surprise didn't end there. After they performed an ultrasound on the stingray, they discovered that she was pregnant with two fetal rays. So they had to improvise an underwater nursery to welcome the two newborns. This is great news, as the reason that the scientists caught this massive fish in the first place is because giant stingrays are listed as critically endangered species by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. So with the two baby rays, they hope to be able to help Help the species grow in numbers. Number 1. World Record Black Marlin Meet Alfred Glissell Jr. of Houston, the man who, on August 4, 1953, managed to successfully achieve one of the greatest catches in the history of sport fishing. According to the International Game and Fish Association, he landed the largest marlin ever caught on rod and reel in Cabo Blanco in Peru. Glissell was on board the Petrel at the time, skippered by Sterling Stewart. The black marlin they caught that day weighed a whopping 1,560 pounds, measured 14 feet 6 inches long, and has an impressive girth of 6 feet and 9 inches. He trolled a Cerro mackerel as bait, and oh boy did it work. After fighting the massively huge fish for an hour and 45 minutes, they captured the record black marlin that would make history. For those who are wondering what kind of fishing gear would be strong enough to make such a catch, Glissell was using a Tycoon rod with a size 12O fin nor reel and a 39 thread Ashaway line. This is the kind of catch that just stands the test of time, as to this date, it is still officially the largest marlin ever caught. I don't know about you, but I had no idea that fish so large existed. I'll think twice now whenever I go take a swim. What about you? Have you ever caught a fish so large you had to look at it twice to believe it? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.